Good morning, evening, afternoon everybody, Ford here from Ford's Tour Reviews. In this video we're going to be talking about the COVID-19 pandemic, its impact on my channel, and why I've kept silent about this until April 2022, two years after the pandemic started. So, give you guys a little bit of background, I've been a YouTuber now, on and off, for four years. Um, I've been very, very adamant, vigilant, careful, cautious, whatever word you want to use with the tool market and how everything's been going. A few times I've been trying to decide whether or not I wanted to keep doing tool reviews and I want to give you guys a little bit of a reason and background as to why I said that back circa 2018, 2019, early 2020 and originally it had to do with financial issues now it has to do with post the post the COVID-19 pandemic and what I'm referring to here is I am aware that we still have all this COVID-19 stuff going on and this is kind of steering away from what my channel is about however I want to give a little bit of insight as to why financial impacts have kind of set back a couple of YouTubers the first reason is I don't know if anyone's noticed but when the price of metal goes up, the price of parts go up, the price of tools are going to go up. And again, this is not going after whose fault it is or none of that. What it's about is because it's been happening, a lot of tool YouTubers, tool reviewer YouTube, tool you, excuse me, tool reviewing YouTubers, not tool YouTubers. Tool reviewing YouTubers, pardon what I just said, are looking at the inflation cost and they're sitting here thinking, okay, let me give you guys an example. It's a very good reason why I don't have any Milwaukee products. Milwaukee's expensive as it is. Slap on another $40 onto that price tag. Slap on the price of hardware because, again, you're getting steel components nuts, screws, bolts, cotter pins, um, steel pipe, steel thread or rod, steel rod, uh, welding, and you tack on that price of steel, and then you put that on top of the price of Phillips and flathead screwdrivers, ratchets and sockets, um, all metal levels, you know, the price is going to go up. Now, um, this being said, maybe it's not that big of a deal, but I've noticed a trend where all of this is going up, and it's not just affecting the steel industry. The lumber industry is heavily affected by this. It's, it's ridiculous. Lumber has gone up about 25 to 30 percent. I'm going to give that as a rough estimate. So a lot of tool reviewing YouTubers, tool reviewing YouTubers, who have Sark saws, they're getting some from Ryobi, they're getting some from wherever, are looking at this and they're going, hmm, what is my rate of return for this? Again, I'm not a marketing genius at all. I'm a tool reviewing YouTuber. But from what I can see, it, it's getting more and more expensive. Now pair in this. Loss of jobs due to the pandemic. A lot of people who, whether they got the vaccination or not, I'm not gonna def I'm not gonna argue about that. I don't care about the minutia of that. That's gonna do some financial impact to tool reviewers and builders and welders and a bunch of people who do this as a side hustle so the content is not necessarily going to be as great maybe it is but it's it's uh, that's a pessimistic thing that's pessimistic thinking well when the crap hits the fan that's the way it is I'm just being real with you guys the last time I went to look at boards of lumber it was twenty dollars a sheet or plywood. That's borderline 
ridiculous. Well, it's always been $20 a sheet. Yeah, add in taxes and fees to that. Another reason is because of car prices going up. People are trying to go to electric cars. Now, I'm not going to get into an argument of, oh, well, uh, electric cars are efficient. Yes, they can be. But think about this from a trades work perspective. Is it really that efficient? Hard to say. Ryobi tools are great for what they are. I'm not so sure about electric trucks. Like I said before, I have no relation with Ford Motor, so my channel is not even remotely related to them. And a lot of people have been asking, well, what about Harbor Freight Tools? What about Harbor Freight Tools? So they're doing the same thing. Home Depot, Lowe's, Harbor Freight, all these companies. And I understand they're trying to get money back from the pandemic. Two years later. It's the domino effect. Um, my whole thing with this is... This stuff's not going to go down in price any time soon. And yes, if people are going to keep buying lumber at ridiculously high prices, that's up to them. Because <clears throat> I'm not going to do that. I had a lot of projects in mind when I started working in 2019. And then everything just hit the fan. So, in 2020, all that time getting everything all up and ready, and then we get blindsided in 2020. So, that's just the way it was. I'm not blaming uh, religion or politics or anything on that. I don't really care about that. That's not what my channel is focused on. It's tools. Solely tools. It might expand into something else later. I haven't made up, I have not made up my mind about that yet. But, as it stands right now, Likelihood of me buying tools right now is bumpkiss. Unless I can find something that I can start using to make more money. Or money in general. No. It makes me not have any pleasure to say that. Because, honestly... It's not great all across the board. Home Depot's full of stuff right now, but they're not selling a whole lot. Or if they are, they're selling it on credit, which I personally don't think that using credit for tools is such a good idea. I really don't. I think it's not a very wise financial move. Well, you're going to flip it and return it. Okay, that's cool. But not everyone's going to do that. Tool reviewers don't usually flip around tools when they buy them. And if they do, they're selling them on Facebook Marketplace to start. So, so anyway, that's kind of where we're at right now. I just wanted to give you guys a quick update as to why tool buying has been, tool purchasing has been so slow. Originally, I had bought the the video I uploaded about the Ryobi 1.5 amp hour is actually for my fan. It's what's powered my uh, hybrid fan right now because I like having wind blowing from multiple different directions in the shop and <clears throat> having the capability to keep the air circulating so it doesn't get too ungodly hot. Anyway guys, I hope you guys have a wonderful, today is Saturday, April 9th, 2022, when I am uploading this video. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Uh, if you guys are wondering, I really cannot wait for summer. Uh, we're not too far away from May. And as it stands right now, where I'm at uh, currently, it's cold. We just had a snow flurry. Um, I do not live in the northern United States, so this is kind of weird weather for my area. 
but uh, yeah, uh, hopefully we'll have a better year in 2023 where the powers that be actually have a better grasp of what we're supposed to be doing. Again, I'm not trying to turn this into something it's not. All I'm trying to say here is sooner or later somebody's going to have to buy more lumber, sooner or later somebody's going to have to complete a project, and trying to raise prices on lumber, raise prices on steel, raise prices on all of that, it's, it's not great um, all across the board because you know, you have less prospective buyers. One project I want to help one of my family members with is painting this room a different color. I would like to get my hands into painting a wall, getting some more experience painting. I have a little bit, but not a lot. Uh, again, like I said before, I do multi uh, jobs for people, but I'm not very adverse in painting or I'm sorry, very experienced in painting. So try to get a little bit better in that and uh, so I want to talk about one really recent big major project we did. This was horrible. So we had to paint a residence. This is why I had such a long hiatus off of YouTube. We were painting a house and we did it for about three weeks and oh good grief and everyone's gonna say why didn't you film it well the reason I didn't film it is because I asked for permission from the person I was painting the house for and they said no and I asked them twice and they still said no so that's really nothing that I can do about that I'm sorry I couldn't get any footage of that that would have been some pretty decent content but like I said before for privacy reasons for the person's property I couldn't, in good conscience, record it against their will. So, <clears throat> hopefully that answers some questions. I have been busy. I have been doing stuff. I have not been doing a heck of a lot as far as... making projects yet. Uh, my shop definitely needs to be worked on. Uh, a lot of things are out of place. And if you've worked in a shop before, you uh, you get what I'm saying with everything being out of place. And that's the next thing I'm going to tackle this afternoon. So I just wanted to give you guys another quick update video. Try to get back into the swing of uploading more videos on YouTube. <coughs> Tool reviews are coming back. I did post one for my Ryobi Mini Hybrid Fan. I did post one for a Ryobi 4 amp hour battery, a 2 amp hour battery, a comparison video between the batteries in various tools. I think I was going to upload a video about the Ryobi um, multi tool Dremel tool. I do want to do some impact socket bits. And I mean socket bits as in uh, driver bits, excuse me, and socket adapter bits. I do want to revisit my uh, impact driver. I do have an auto ratchet I want to make another video on, and I want to put some sockets on it. I've got the sockets, I just need to find them. And uh, I've got a comparison video between the Ryobi standard. Uh, toolkit charger and why you should upgrade to the 30 minute fast charger. You guys already saw my video preview video of the Ryobi um, <clears throat> in vehicle charger. That thing is a lifesaver. Uh, definitely want to keep a voltage reader nearby your battery so that you don't completely drain it. But uh, Hopefully this little update video has helped you guys out and see where I'm going with all of this and with what's been going on and trying to get an idea of why uh, tool reviewing YouTubers are not uploading videos as much. Um, hopefully 
in the next few months prices on stuff will start to go down if it does we'll see about getting some lumber and start building some projects and making some stuff happen anyway guys i'm ford and i will see you in the next video take care and uh keep on building